Hello there future ACCAs, this is Vishnu Vijay, proud Fintrammer and I welcome you all to the AA Revision Charts where we look at the key examinable topics from the Audit and Assurance Syllabus. So folks, in this session we will be looking at as to what the five elements of Assurance Engagements are. But before that, what is an Assurance Engagement? Assurance Engagement is basically where a practitioner provides conclusions on a subject matter for the intended users other than the responsible party that it part this particular subject matter confirms with a particular criteria isn't it that's basically it however it's a bit more clearer when we uh, think about how an audit works isn't it so in an audit we have the practitioner that is the auditor and the auditor provides an opinion on the subject matter that is the financial statements and this particular opinion is for the intended users who are the users of financial statements such as investors and various other stakeholders and uh, who is the responsible party in an audit basically the managers or management who prepare the particular financial statement isn't it? as simple as that so now that we are clear on that particular aspect now let's move on to the five elements of assurance engagement shall we so there's an easy way to memorize the five elements of assurance engagement and this is using the mnemonic CREST C-R-E-S-T C stands for criteria evokes this is basically the criteria in which we judge the particular subject matter in the case of an audit the criteria would be the applicable financial reporting framework so this applicable financial reporting framework can be either the IFRS standards on which the financial statements are judged or uh, the IAS standards as well as uh, several other local accounting standards as well okay folks so that's basically as to what criteria is and then let's talk about R which is report and this is the written report in which the opinion of the auditor would be provided. Okay, folks. And then we also have E, isn't it? E stands for evidence. And when we talk about evidence, we're talking about sufficient and appropriate evidence, isn't it? And what does sufficient and appropriate mean here? Sufficient means of the appropriate quantity and appropriate means of the appropriate quality, isn't it? So that's basically the idea here. And then we also have S. S is basically the subject matter on which the practitioner provides their conclusions or opinion on. And T are the three parties who are included within the assurance engagement, which is basically the practitioner, the intended user, as well as the responsible party. And as we have discussed, the practitioner provides the conclusion on the subject matter intended users rely on the conclusion provided by the practitioner and the responsible party is a party who is responsible for preparing the financial statements isn't it or preparing the subject matter isn't it so that is basically as to what crest and the five elements of assurance engagement are all about as simple as that so that's basically all i want to cover in this small session however we will also be covering some more key examinable areas in uh, you know the next few videos as well okay folks so stay tuned for that this is Vishnu Vijay signing off for now.